In a perfect world, you'd never have to follow up, but in most cases, you will. I'm Gloria Campbell, President and CEO of Advantage Training Systems, located in St. Petersburg, Florida. How do you follow up after sending a resume? Couple of rules. One, wait seven to ten days. It normally takes that long for your resume to get in and to the person that you addressed it. The next thing you want to do is to give a phone call. You're probably going to get a receptionist or administrative assistant. Try not to leave a message with that person, if at all possible. Tell them who you are, try to speak with authority, and let them know what you're calling for and the person you need to speak with. If that person is not available, ask for their voicemail. Gives you a little bit more time and gives you an opportunity to think. I'm Gloria Campbell with Advantage Training System, giving you some ideas on how to follow up after you've sent a resume. Final tip, write down what you want to say. You're on the phone, read it, read it with conviction if you have to, but follow up on that resume.